John, a 28-year-old bartender from Iowa, had never invested in stocks before, but in early 2021, something caught his eye. GameStop. The struggling video game retailer was making headlines, its stock price defying all logic. Fueled by social media hype, John poured his savings into GameStop, riding the wave of the meme stock phenomenon. He watched in disbelief as his investment ballooned, briefly turning him into a paper millionaire. The thrill was intoxicating. Then reality hit. The stock plummeted, wiping out most of John's gains. The meme stock roller coaster had taken him on a wild ride, leaving him with a mix of exhilaration and regret. John's story is just one of many that unfolded during the meme stock frenzy, a period that captivated Wall Street and Main Street alike. It was a time when ordinary investors, armed with smartphones and Reddit threads, challenged the established order of the financial markets. This wasn't just about GameStop. Other companies like AMC Entertainment found themselves swept up in the current. The meme stock phenomenon highlighted the power of social media, the allure of quick riches, and the risks associated with speculative investing. John's story, and the stories of countless others, serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that the stock market, while potentially rewarding, can be a treacherous terrain. The meme stock phenomenon emerged from a confluence of factors. The COVID-19 pandemic forced millions indoors, creating a captive audience with time on their hands. Social media platforms, particularly Reddit, became virtual gathering places, where users shared information, ideas, and of course, memes. In these online communities, a new breed of investor emerged, one that was young, tech-savvy, and eager to challenge the status quo. These investors, often self-proclaimed degenerates, gravitated towards companies with struggling businesses, but strong brand recognition. GameStop, with its nostalgic appeal to gamers, became a prime target. AMC Entertainment, facing the existential threat of streaming services, also attracted attention. The narrative was simple. These companies were undervalued, ripe for a comeback, and Wall Street hedge funds were betting against them. Through coordinated buying sprees, fueled by memes, emojis, and a healthy dose of bravado, these retail investors drove up the stock prices of their chosen targets. Traditional financial analysts watched in astonishment as companies like GameStop, with fundamentals that screamed sell, soared to unimaginable heights. The meme stock revolution had begun, turning the financial world on its head. At the heart of the GameStop saga was Keith Gill, better known by his online alias, Roaring Kitty. A financial advisor by profession, Jill had been bullish on GameStop for years, sharing his research and insights on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum. His enthusiasm was infectious, his arguments compelling, and his videos, often featuring his cat, became legendary. Gill became a folk hero, the David to Wall Street's Goliath. Wall Street Bets, once an obscure corner of the internet, became a hotbed of activity. Users, emboldened by Gill's conviction and the sense of community, piled into GameStop, turning the stock into a symbol of populist rebellion. The forum was a chaotic mix of memes, market commentary, and get-rich-quick schemes, but it also reflected a deep-seated frustration with the perceived unfairness of the financial system. The media, initially dismissive of the meme stock frenzy, began to take notice. The story had all the elements of a Hollywood blockbuster unlikely heroes, villainous hedge funds, and a David versus Goliath struggle. The meme stock saga was a cultural phenomenon, blurring the lines between entertainment, social commentary, and financial speculation. The meme stock frenzy was tailor-made for Hollywood. In 2023, the film Dumb Money hit theaters, chronicling the GameStop saga and the rise of Roaring Kitty. The film captured the chaotic energy of Wall Street bets, the audacity of retail investors, and the bewilderment of Wall Street veterans struggling to comprehend the forces at play. Dumb Money served as a reminder of the power of collective action and the democratizing potential of the internet. The film also highlighted the risks associated with speculative investing. While some early investors in GameStop reaped substantial rewards, many others bought in at inflated prices, only to see their investments evaporate as the stock inevitably corrected. Dumb Money portrayed the emotional roller coaster experienced by those caught up in the meme stock frenzy, from the euphoria of early gains to the despair of subsequent losses. The film sparked conversations about market manipulation, the role of social media in finance, and the ethics of short selling. Dumb Money served as a cautionary tale, 
reminding viewers that the stock market, while potentially lucrative, is not a game. It also underscored the importance of understanding the fundamentals of investing before diving headfirst into the market's turbulent waters. GameStop, once a ubiquitous presence in shopping malls, had been struggling for years. The rise of digital game downloads and the increasing popularity of online retailers threatened its core business model. The company's financials were dismal, with declining revenues and shrinking profit margins. To many analysts, GameStop seemed destined for irrelevance, a relic of a bygone era. Then came the meme stock frenzy. Driven by social media hype and a wave of retail buying, GameStop's stock price soared to unimaginable heights. The company's market capitalization briefly surpassed that of established industry giants, despite its lackluster fundamentals. The disconnect between the company's financial reality and its stock market valuation was staggering. The meme stock bubble eventually burst, sending GameStop's stock price tumbling back to earth. The company's underlying problems remained, and its long-term prospects were still uncertain. The GameStop saga served as a stark reminder that stock prices can deviate significantly from underlying fundamentals, sometimes for extended periods. It also highlighted the risks associated with investing based solely on hype and momentum. AMC Entertainment, the world's largest movie theater chain, faced its own set of challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic forced theaters to close, decimating revenues and pushing the company to the brink of bankruptcy. The rise of streaming services posed an existential threat as consumers increasingly opted for at-home entertainment options. AMC's stock price reflected these woes, plummeting to multi-year lows. Then, the meme stock wave arrived. Inspired by the GameStop phenomenon, retail investors turned their attention to AMC, driving its stock price upward with astonishing force. The company, once on the verge of collapse, suddenly found itself with a lifeline, using the inflated stock price to raise capital and shore up its balance sheet. The AMC saga demonstrated the power of social media to influence market sentiment and the unpredictable nature of investor behavior. It also highlighted the potential for short squeezes, where heavily shorted stocks experience rapid price appreciation as short sellers scramble to cover their positions. AMC's story, like that of GameStop, served as a reminder that the stock market can be a volatile and irrational place. The meme stock phenomenon highlighted the dangers of ignoring fundamental analysis in stock investments. Fundamentals refer to the underlying financial health and performance of a company, including factors such as revenue, earnings, debt levels, and industry trends. These factors provide a basis for assessing the intrinsic value of a company's stock, independent of market sentiment or speculative trading activity. When investors disregard fundamentals, they risk making decisions based on hype, emotion, or the fear of missing out. Such decisions can lead to buying overvalued assets, chasing momentum, and ignoring warning signs that may indicate a stock is poised for a correction. The meme stock frenzy provided a textbook example of what can happen when investors prioritize speculation over sound financial analysis. Fundamental analysis is not a foolproof method for predicting stock market movements. However, it provides a framework for making informed investment decisions reducing the likelihood of succumbing to emotional biases or market manipulation. By understanding the financial underpinnings of a company, investors can make more rational choices, aligning their investment decisions with their long-term financial goals. Last week, GameStop and AMC experienced renewed volatility, their stock prices swinging wildly in response to a mix of news headlines, social media chatter, and speculative trading activity. GameStop stock surged after the company announced a surprise profit, fueled by cost-cutting measures and a surge in online sales. However, the gains proved short-lived as investors questioned the sustainability of the company's turnaround. AMC's stock, meanwhile, faced pressure after the company announced plans to issue new shares, diluting the value of existing shares. The move, while financially prudent for the company, angered some retail investors who perceived it as a betrayal. The subsequent sell-off highlighted the fragile nature of investor confidence in meme stocks, where sentiment can shift rapidly based on perceived slights or changes in market dynamics. Last week's volatility served as a reminder that meme stocks remain susceptible to wild price swings, driven by factors that often defy traditional financial analysis. 
Investors who choose to venture into this realm must be prepared for a bumpy ride, recognizing that short-term gains can quickly evaporate and long-term prospects remain uncertain. The stock market can be a complex and unforgiving environment, particularly for novice investors. The allure of quick riches fueled by stories of meme stock millionaires can be intoxicating, but it's essential to approach the market with a healthy dose of caution and a well-defined investment strategy. Before investing, it's crucial to conduct thorough research, understand the risks involved, and set realistic expectations. Diversification is key to mitigating risk. Instead of concentrating investments in a handful of volatile stocks, investors should consider spreading their capital across a range of asset classes, including stocks, bonds, and real estate. This approach helps to cushion the blow if one investment performs poorly, reducing the overall volatility of the portfolio. Long-term investing, focused on companies with solid fundamentals and a track record of growth, tends to be a more reliable path to wealth creation than chasing short-term gains through speculative trading. While the meme stock frenzy may have captured headlines, it's essential to remember that sustainable investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't take this as financial advice, but here's my two cents on what happened last week. As someone who doesn't follow X that closely, but saw the rapid increase on GME on Monday, I knew something fishy was going on. Digging deeper as one should always do with any investment or something on the market that produces a wide swing as evident with GameStop's rise from $30 to over $60 in one day. Roaring Kitty had been absent from his Twitter account, but all it took was one small picture that he tweeted and Wall Street bets from Reddit were ready to ride the roller coaster again. AMC came for the ride too. I feel it's safe to say we all want to live comfortably financially, but it's one thing to invest if you have a conviction or sound research, and another thing to just blindly throw hard-earned money at meme stocks. Did some get out at the right time and earn a profit? I'm sure that happened. But just please be safe out there. As someone who watched the movie Dumb Money, I empathized with all the people who lost their whole life savings when they weren't able to get out at the right time. Again, I'm not telling you to avoid anything. You do you. For me, dividend investing in sound ETFs and stocks with a proven track record is my philosophy. The meme stock phenomenon, while captivating, represents just one facet of the vast and ever-evolving world of finance. To gain a deeper understanding of the markets, explore a range of resources, including books, articles, podcasts, and online courses. Seek out information from reputable sources, such as financial news outlets, investment research firms, and experienced financial advisors. Consider delving into topics such as fundamental analysis, technical analysis, portfolio management, and risk management. Understanding these concepts can provide a solid foundation for making informed investment decisions, navigating market volatility, and achieving long-term financial goals. The world of finance offers a wealth of knowledge waiting to be discovered, empowering individuals to take control of their financial destinies.